All right, making a surfboard bag today for one of my friends. Uh, we're gonna make it for Josh Hamilton. Uh, he just got a new board, and so we're gonna make a, a bag today. I've been making a few of these now uh, the past couple months, just trying it out because I wanted to save some money and ended up having a pretty good time making them. So I'm just gonna kind of show how I make these. <laughs> put in so if you pull on the thread it's going counterclockwise you can go through a little notch down here lay it to the side through the eye of the needle here side, that goes through the foot, lay that to the side, put the cap back on, and we're ready to go again. And you gotta keep an eye because eventually this the thread from the bobbin will run out. Um, be prepared to stick yourself with the needle a few times if you're gonna do this. Okay, so now, so here's where we just said, and now I'm gonna fold it over. And now that stitch is hidden. This is the outside. So it's a nice clean look. And now we're gonna do the next piece. All right, so now that the color strip is sewed in on both of these, I have them laying on top of each other right now. I'm tracing the shape of the bag and so I've got the board out and have it a few inches down just to be safe and then I've traced my line where I want to cut and then what I do is just with a pencil I mark I sketch a line that's two inches wider than the board and I do that all the way to the board's widest point, which is about here. And then once I get to that point, I just run it straight down at that width. And I do that at both sides. So now it's like that. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna cut on that line. And that way, we've got about that much. And then I'm gonna sew as close to that line as I can so that I'm sure I have enough room for this board. All right, no going back now. So this is the shape. And so we cut along that line we traced. Now I'm going to put pins all around the perimeter here. But before I do that, I'm gonna sew on the patch. And after we sew that on, then we're gonna put pins around everything with the nylon. I still gotta cut that. And then when it's all one piece, uh, then we will sew it. And then we will do the drawstring. Okay, I've got the nylon laid out under here. And so now I'm just gonna cut. So the nylon's the same shape. And then I'm gonna stack both of these with the nylon. And then we're gonna pin everything. Okay, so everything is pinned now. This is probably the most time consuming part, but it gives you a good guide. Send the needle right over that middle part there. And with the nylon, it's not cut exact, so you can't see exactly where the edge is, so you do need to go back a little bit. That's why you lose some of the fabric. Um, 
which is why we gave ourselves extra ground but got it pinned all the way around now so now we're just gonna sew all right now we're gonna start this so we're just gonna take it slow and get all the way around here check it periodically also having all these pins in helps all the fabric stay together obviously but it's also helping me see the line I need okay here we go ouch these pins are just sticking me over and over again to waste as little fabric as possible but you don't want to get too close to the edge because then some of that fabric's not going to get sewn together have to redo it so we had a few inches extra on each side so it should be enough the edge here now. Get back out of there. Ouch. It's stuck. checking under this nylon to make sure we haven't missed any of the canvas. Check our bobbin. I think we saw that. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and stop it there because we, we're almost out. out so now we're out bobbins out now I'm gonna readjust this flip this check it out hmm Okay, I might run over that again real quick. I think we're good. So you can see we were good here, and then it started going off um, to right here. So at that point we went off the canvas. So I'm gonna cut and I'm gonna start back. All right, so I just pinned and set up the uh, drawstring loop uh, at the end of the bag. And all I did is I just folded the bag over once and then I just tucked the, the edge in and then I pinned that edge down. So I'm gonna be sewing right here and that way it's a clean edge that's not gonna fray. Okay, so we're all done here. Um, did the drawstring, turned it inside out again. And so you can take a look now. Got those nice edges and got the patch on. 
And there's Josh in the middle there. And that's who I'm giving the bag to. And you can see on the inside, we got our nylon, which is nice. So the board will slide in, wax up, and that'll help it slide in. And it's all tucked in there good. Um, and then the drawstring, here it is. Just use paracord. It's coming out. This is frayed. Just um, this is the drawstring. I'm still working on figuring it out, but um, paracord you can burn the edges and it makes it so it won't come untied. And then I just put a little drawstring thing there. And yeah, so it's not perfect, but it's definitely better than uh, buying your own. Dude, this is so sick. <laughs> Did you know this is happening? <laughs> yeah. So, Emily, when you get a new one. Yeah, then you got a little stuff. Oh, this is so sick. Draw strings a little around. Oh, no, that so works. It gets hot. Dude, this is. Dude, let's go. Yeah. The only bag I've ever had was like that tiny little, like, is it 